what's up guys it's Talha here and in this video we will render our k house by using Enscape 3d which is one of the best and the most user-friendly rendering plugin for Revit let's get started so here I'm in Revit and as you can see I have already opened this project and now let's go to Enscape here so once you install the Enscape plugin you will get the Enscape tab here so let's click on this Enscape tab and now we can just start by clicking here or if you want to select uh, any of these views from here you can select from here so I will just click here and select this 3d view which we have created in the previous video so I, I will select that one then start So the Enscape is now started. So I will just share with you about the controls here. So you can see, you can use WASD to move the camera. And by using the E and Q, you can take the camera up or down. And and if you hold the shift shift key, it will run. Uh, it will go a bit fast. And if you hold the control key, the camera will move more faster and by pressing this space space bar you can change from fly mode to walk mode so i will just show you if so if i if i hit space bar it will change from fly mode to walk mode and now you can just walk around if you are in walk mode you cannot take the camera up or down so you must need to be in fly mode to do that so now here this if you press m it will show the map of our house you can see and you can just hide that by pressing m and if you press k it will open up the video editor i'm not going to do do that in this tutorial to to hide these instructions you can just hit h to hide and you can just return that back by pressing h key again and to look around you can use the left mouse button and to orbit around you can use the right right mouse button you can see and now let's see here you can see this tree uh, this tree is looking very weird because we, we are using a Revit components here so let's go to ground floor and delete all of this so right click select all instances visible in view and delete now we will use the trees from the from this asset library which is provided by Enscape. So just click on this and and you can see we have got a bunch of these families here. So now we want a vegetation family so you just need to go here vegetation. Now from here let's select I just scroll down here because I want to use this one so let's select this and place here let's start placing around here and let's select this one and place some of these let's go to Enscape and you can see we got these very realistic trees here so let's add some more of these so let's go back to Revit. I will just close this library. And now let's right click, select all instances visible in view and we will just copy this. So use copy, check multiple here and just copy on this side. And let's delete this one. and delete these three also so now let's select the other tree right click select all instances and copy you can see we have added the trees and now let's work on the materials so first let's 
change the in this concrete material here let's edit this because you can see it's a bit glossy so let's reduce the glossiness of this material so let's go back to manage materials and just look for that material so here we have this and now let's go to appearance and first we will add a bump map to this material so you just need to check this bump and it will open up this this dialog box and now from here you need to select the material so i will use uh, i will select the same same material so just select and open and let's check the size of this material the scale of this material so it's seven feet we need to put the same in the bump map also now let's increase the amount here so we will just make it 100 and let's reduce the glossiness so here you have this just reduce and apply okay and if we look into Enscape, and you can see it's not that glossy anymore now let's edit the, this grass material here you can see it's just a simple material and let's convert this into a 3d 3d grass by using the Enscape feature so you need to go back to revit and materials and here we have the grass material you need to add grass in this material name here so just right click rename and let's add grass here or you can i will just delete all and add grass by the way and skip provides you four types of grass materials so i will put the name of those materials here you can try them if you want if, if you add only grass we will get some this kind of grass material here so it's okay for me it's okay for this project if you want to increase the size or the reduce the size of this of this grass you can you can just put the materials name which i will i will put somewhere on the screen here so anyway now let's just keep it grass here and okay now let's just return back the camera so you need to select that camera from here and it will return back to its original original position so let's go forward now let's say you want to save this camera view so you only need to go to Enscape, and here you have this create view button you only need to click here and you can just put the name here i will just keep it like this then okay and it Enscape will create a new camera view in your revit 3d views here you can see that if I double click you will get that in the Revit also so now let's select that view okay so let's adjust the daytime you can just press I to change the daytime so it's okay for me and now let's place some other components here And here you can select vehicles and let's let's use this SUV and place it here and let's add a, a person also in our projects I will add the person in the balcony so I will just go to level 2 and let's select people from here and I will select this one I will place that here at the balcony and if you go into Enscape you can see it's updated here so we have finished editing the materials as well as placing the components and now let's do some other changes in the settings so I will just close this to download the Enscape, you need to go to Enscape3D.com
and you can start your trial version by clicking free trial here and you will get a 14 days trial version with all the Enscape 3D features you only need to fill this form and select the software then just click test now to start your trial version and let's go back to Revit and here you have settings so click and now let's edit the the settings here so in the general general tab you will get all these options so you can edit the bright the exposure brightness here so the 60 percent is okay for me you can adjust the frill of view from here also so let's keep it like that and motion blur, blur also if you want you can you can edit this but i will just keep it like that and in the rendering quality i have already set it to ultra you can use as per your requirement if you want to do a very basic rendering you can use the draft or medium so now i will i will just change it to ultra and in the image tab you will get these options um, you can see the changes here if i increase the shadows are getting more darker so i will just reduce so maybe 30 percent is okay and you can edit the highlights also from here so let's maybe this around 40 percent is okay and the cool you can edit this saturation i don't want to do anything with this and the cool temperature also will just keep I'll just keep it like that and the bloom also you can just play around with these settings to learn about them and you can adjust the lens flare also I don't want to show any lens flare here so I will just keep it like that if you want you need to change the daytime to maybe at around 12 to let's see on what time we will get the lens flare you can see the time at around 16 you will get that here so i will just return this back to maybe at in the morning time around seven so now let's go to atmosphere to change the background and to edit the clouds so here in the preset you will find the background you can see it's set to clear so you, I will use the forest or mountains maybe and we can we can rotate these we can rotate the background by using the slider here and adjust as per our requirement so for this I will just keep it like that and fog height uh, and the fog you can uh, you can add the fog if you want so if i increase this you can see the fog around here so i will just reduce i don't want any fog and the clouds you can edit you can do some changes here so let's increase this density you can see the changes here okay so here and the sun brightness if you reduce it you can see it's look it's still looking very nice but you will not get any shadows so you need to add a, at least small amount of this sun brightness so let's add maybe 20 percent and now let's go to input okay here if you want to do the settings with your mouse you can do that and i will go to advanced and here if you have any artificial lights you can edit the art artificial light bright brightness from here you can increase or decrease i don't have any artificial lights here so i don't need to edit any of these if you want you can edit the spectator height as well as the spectator width so okay here you can see you have this grass rendering button if it's unchecked you will not get this 3d grass so once you add the grass 
grass in your material name you need to make sure this grass rendering is also checked in the Enscape settings so you need you can see if I uncheck this the 3d grass is gone now so I will just keep this checked and let's capture this this rendering let's export this so here you can set the resolution you can you got you got bunch of these options here so I, I will use ultra HD and the file format I will I already set it to JPEG and the hotkey I set it to control plus one so which which is a bit easier for me so you can you can put any other keys you want so I will just change it back to control plus one and here the video settings uh, I am not doing any video video rendering here so I will not do any changes here so let's export this control plus one and let's name it and escape enter and you can see the rendering process is now started here minimize this so you can see here within minutes we have created this very cool looking rendering by using Enscape 3d it's still a very basic rendering you can you can do some more changes with the materials you can add bump maps you can see I forgot to add the bump map to this texture so you can just play around with the settings and with the materials to get more better results so still it's very awesome i suggest you to download the enscape you can download the enscape by visiting their website enscape3d.com and here you just need to go to buy and you can see it's at very affordable price so and you you can try the trial version also so here you have this free trial you can try this for 14 days you, you will get all the Enscape features in the trial version also so you only need to fill this form and select the software and you can start your 14 days trial version so that's it for this tutorial i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you guys in the next video.